on everybody and welcome back to another video on the FBA Capital Trading Channel and today I'm bringing you guys another video on my weekly analysis on US 30. So I'm going to be breaking down what I'm personally expecting for this upcoming week on US 30 and I'm just going to basically give you guys a little bit of a run around on what I personally believe is going to happen, why I believe is going to happen and just a little bit of an insight on how I personally view the market and how I view US 30. So make sure you keep watching to the end if you guys want to get the full breakdown on US 30. And I'll see you guys inside the charts. Bring you guys weekly market breakdown on US 30. So the market is actually already open today. I'm doing it a little bit different. So we're just gonna get right on into it. We're gonna do an overall analysis on what I'm personally expecting for this upcoming week. Let's get right on into it. So let's start off on the daily time frame. Matter of fact, we're gonna start off on the weekly time frame. We're all the way down. First things first, last week was a bearish closed week. So first thing I could be possibly anticipating is since price started from this original move and now we cleared the liquidity above this high we cleared it and then showed a willingness to continue moving lower there is a chance that we could continue to possibly retrace a little bit lower to overall get this possible 62 percent retracement or even lower so let's pull our fit from this low just like that we already rejected to the 38.22 percent the 20 percent so there is a chance that we could continue coming even lower to possibly tap into possibly maybe areas on the daily time frame so we drew this fib from all the way down here let me go back to the weekly and mark that up so we drew it from this low to this high now we're going to go back to the daily time frame and as we saw we're personally going to be bearish this week why because the last weekly candle closed bearish so we know that the next weekly candle has a higher chance of closing bearish also so where could price potentially retrace to first things first we got to look at these areas that are on the higher time frame we already see that price rejected this 38.20 percent pushed higher and it's still coming lower so there's a high chance that price is going to continue to move lower and where is it going to come to in my opinion i think it's going to at least come down to this 35 200 area why 35 200 for one this is a big figure level so right here it's a big figure level and also if you look to the left we have this daily bullish order block that we have right here so let me make this this color make it two so we have this daily bullish order block i'm going to write that in there so that's daily order block that is also in confluence with this 35 200 level which is right here i'm going to make this red just like this so we got 35 200 in confluence with the daily order block in confluence with our fib long that we drew from that weekly time frame we're going to take it even a step further and now with this daily order block we're going to mark up the 50 percent of it to get an even more refined area and as you can see that 50 percent is right in the middle of the daily order block that is also in confluence right above the 35 200 level also right at this 62 percent level so there's a lot of confluence in this specific area so this is just going to be somewhere that i'm watching throughout the week and when we get to this level, there is a high chance that we could possibly continue to push even higher. And if we don't, then the likelihood of us trading down to this lower order block is going to be far more likely. And then from there, we can anticipate price coming just a little bit lower. So this is what I have based off the weekly and daily time frame. So if we're, bear if we're going to be bearish on the short term and then long term bullish, we're going to keep that in mind. So now we're going to go down to the lower time frames. We're going to go to the 15 minute. I'm going to mark up this high the previous day's high and the previous day's low just like this and the market already opened so by 12 o'clock we're gonna have a new daily candle not a new daily candle but a new day a new day basically so we're gonna be figuring out whether we're gonna target the previous day's high or previous day's low and if we're overall bearish more than likely we're gonna target the previous day's low as we saw in the higher time frames so what is gonna lead price to going there so first things first I'm gonna market the previous Friday's Asian session range which is all the way up here so just like this, we're going to mark this up and we're going to anticipate price to potentially have a retracement to this area before falling even lower. So now we can take this indicator off. We have that. We're also going to pull our fib from the previous day's high to our previous day's low, just like that with our normal fib settings. We also already see that we're rejecting the 62%. So there already is a high chance that price could continue already moving lower. Why? Because we already had this full retracement from the daily range. So from the previous day's high to the previous day's low, we already rejected 62%. And you can see that price is already showing a willingness to want to move lower after what? 
clearing this high, taking the liquidity out, and then showing the willingness to want to go lower. So we know, like I said, we're bearish. So we're more than likely going to continue moving lower. And we also have this other confirmation of 36,000 right here that we are rejecting. I'm going to make it I'm going to make it perfect just because I have OTD. So 36,000, we rejected it perfectly to the pip. And now we're starting to move lower. So like I said, we are going to be bearish on the higher time frames for short term. So we're going to be bearish for maybe a few days or however long it takes for us to get to this 35,200 level. And keep in mind, 35,200 is all the way down here and we're on the 15 minutes 35200 is all the way down here so we still got a ways to go till we get to that area but more than likely like i said we're going to be targeting the previous day's low which is going to be right here so anything could happen over tonight we could possibly can start to range throughout today we can do anything but like i said we're going to be more than likely reaching for this area down here the previous day's low if we're going to continue bearish it doesn't mean we're going to tap into 35200 today tomorrow or wednesday could end up being thursday friday may even be next week you never really know what's going to happen throughout the week but based off higher time frames such as the four hour not the four hour the daily the weekly and all these things we're going to more than likely anticipate price to continue going lower but as of right now you can see the charts are starting to overlap so that's fine so i'm gonna over get over here i'm gonna get on the 15 minute i'm gonna delete all the lower time frame things that i have on here just like this just like this because they did start to overlap and i don't want to have any confusion between what i'm doing let me do that let me get rid of this right here can't get rid of it okay whatever just like that go back to the daily and that's what like i said we're going to continue to more than likely trade lower to 35200 level and if we don't throw 35200 more than likely 34572 is going to be where we target but as you can see right now price is already showing a willingness to go lower so if we're going to let price do what it has to do, I'm personally not going to take a trade on this because this isn't my time to trade. But we're just going to let price overall do what it's going to do. So what I'm also going to do right now is mark up all the other big figure levels in and around where price is. So just like that, mark up 36,500 up here. And we mark up 36,500 down here. And we have 35,200. I'm going to make them all perfectly because as you guys know, I got OCD and I can't have it not even a point two percent off so we just got to make it perfect just like that just like that that was good just like that and last one all more just like that so now we have all of our big figure levels that are around this area that we're personally trading in above the previous day's high and below the previous day's low and in between both of these and as you can see 36,000 is being rejected and the more than likely price is going to continue down to 35,800 and if you also want to take it a step further pull your fib from this low to this high you can see that the 62% is also at this 35,800 level so we already know more than likely price is going to have a rejection at this point even if it's not long term we could possibly anticipate price to continue lower maybe have a little bit of a retracement before potentially come even lower throughout tomorrow or even Monday we never really know but this is overall what i'm anticipating for us 30 and this is what i'm going to be anticipating going into this next week so at the end of the day we just gotta let price show us what it wants to do just because i have this analysis doesn't mean i'm going to be right but we us as traders and us as risk managers we got to be able to risk we got to be able to manage risk at all times and we also got to be able just to follow the market because at the end of the day we're retail traders and we don't have enough money to move the market so what does that mean it means we have to follow the big money we're not going to move it we can't anticipate it we can't predict it we just all we can do is let price show us what it wants to do and take the highest probability trades and just be patient and that's really what it comes down to so that's really it hopefully this was a little bit beneficial and i will see you guys later on and thank you for watching this video you guys made it this far i appreciate you for watching the full video and i hope that the us 30 breakdown gave you a good insight on what i'm personally expecting for this upcoming week on us 30. we're a little bit looking a little bit bearish but that's to be expected since it's quarter one and it's also january so we probably will see more of a bullish momentum kick back in towards quarter two around april may around that springtime because those tend to be the best trading months so as of right now we just got to continue being patient follow the market and let the market show us what it wants to do and be able to follow it and follow the big money so if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe and if you want to continue to watch these videos and you want a better insight on how i personally trade make sure you join my live streams every single morning i'm live at 8 30 est every single day live trading us 30 
And if you got questions, you can always come in. I'm there every single morning. You can ask them. But on that note, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And make sure you be motivated by the fear of being average. Now you guys.